guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about the giant moves today, such as Kirby's giant hammer. If you like this type of content and want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So in one of my previous videos, I mentioned Kirby's giant hammer, and it turns out this move can actually be charged. It does a lot of damage to yourself, but it has the most super armor in the game besides King Dedede's giant hammer. This is absolutely insane. You could get KOs so early, and you could even jump while doing it. Now, it does have a lot of startup and end lag, but if you hit it, it's very rewardful. And the super armor is a great bonus. This is my personal favorite Kirby Hammer of choice. When using the air, there's so much startup that you're never going to hit it. If you do happen to hit it in the air, it still does a ton of damage though. So I guess for a hard aerial read, I suppose. The next move we're going to talk about is Mario's Giant Fire. This move has a lot of startup. But if you do manage to get a hit on it, especially at the start of it, you can get some insane combos off of it. You could even shoot it in the air, but it is kind of hard to hit as I mentioned, it has a lot of startup. But it's super cool when you get a combo going off of it. Another thing that's interesting about this move is that it can be B-reversed, but the timing is very particular. But it is possible. One thing I like doing out of this is doing the fire move and then just waiting from the jump and then spiking them. I tried like a million times to get it in this recording, but I just couldn't. But just take my word, it's super cool if you do manage to get it. Out of all the giant moves we're going to talk about today, this is definitely my favorite. Say hello to Giant Mecha Koopa. He doesn't go as far, but he can be picked up and used as an item, and he does a ton of damage. He also doesn't latch onto your enemies when he does it, but he still can explode. He has a big hitbox too. He moves a lot slower as well, but I think the reward from just getting him to hit is a lot better than the original one. And I love that he could be used as an item as well, so you could even implement him into your combo game. He does it around 12 to 15 damage, which is actually really good for an item. And he could KO at higher percents, at really early percents in fact. He could also be Z-dropped in the air, so he could be used as a potential edge guard tool. Really cool stuff. The next custom move I want to show off is Cloud's Nair. This has a giant hit- wait, what are you saying? This isn't a custom move? This is just a giant hitbox? Oh, my, my bad. In an earlier video, I mentioned the big shine. I just said it looked funny, but this move actually has some uses. It actually has a wind box, and the forward and behind hit are different. The thing I really don't understand about this move is why is it bigger? The regular shine already covers Fox. It can maybe cover more distance, but it still does the exact same amount of damage, and it takes a little bit longer to come out, but I guess the wind box is a good added bonus. This is a cool one. I like this one on my Fox moveset, personally. We Fit Trainer was one of the most requested moves to show off. We'll start with one of the most notorious ones, Big Header. Basically, it has a bigger hitbox, and the ball does a lot more damage. It's quite slower though. but. The main thing for this move was that it lingers for so long and you could get some insane combos off of it. Another really annoying technique for this move was ledge stalling. You could just go to the ledge, go back, and just keep using it over and over again. Your opponent can't do anything. Speaking of stalling, another move that was really notorious for Wii, Tra Wii Fit Trainer was Jumbo Hoop. So yes, you're seeing this right. This goes on for a super long time and it has a hitbox that combos into itself. You could just camp to the ledge, combine this with the big header, and the giant hitboxes, and this character with customs was one of the most annoying and toxic characters in the game. Both of these moves kill at higher percent as well. Another fun one is Link's giant bombs. They don't go that far, but they have this weird property where they just linger on the ground and explode. I think the regular bombs do this as well, but these have a giant hitbox and they do a lot of damage. They could also be Z-dropped like a normal item. Combo usage for this is kind of weird. It takes a while to detonate, so it's mainly more of a trap tool. You could also shoot up more than one if you want, but due to the high startup, it's kind of rare that that's going to be useful. But if you want to apply stage pressure, this is a great way to. I also think this just looks really funny in general, as a lot of these jumbo moves do. I'm not 100% sure if this applies to Link's regular bomb, but these bombs always self-damage you. I'm not sure why, but they also don't give you that much height in the air, if any. 
It's still pretty useful regardless though. This is another fun one in my opinion. Giant Falcon Punch. It's essentially just Falcon Punch with more startup and more range, but it doesn't do as much damage as a regular one unfortunately. But it does have two hits, which is an interesting property. I'm not sure if the regular Falcon Punch has that. I'm not sure why this one does less damage than the original. I'm assuming it's because of the hitbox being a lot bigger. But saying it does less damage is not really saying much, considering this move still kills at 100 and is great for shield break punishes. This is Dr. Mario's Giant Pill. It's basically like Mario's Fireball, except it takes even longer to come out. I counted the frames, and it's about two, but this move is more consistent with its connecting. Now for follow-ups, this move has a lot more end lag, so it still takes a lot longer to get a punish off of it. But in damage, this definitely does a lot more. You could also combine it with grabs to get even more damage. Some pretty cool stuff. I think this is not as good as the regular pill, but it's still a good alternative if you're just looking for more damage. And this item can be B reverse as well. You could also do it in the air. For applying pressure at the ledge, this is actually a great tool to use. It could stop your opponent from even recovering, and if they buffer an air dodge, they could even get set up for a perfect cape. Another giant move I want to talk about is the side magnet with the hitbox. Now, if you play Smash Ultimate, this probably looks familiar, but in Smash 4, Psy Magnet actually didn't have a hitbox. This one doesn't allow you to heal, but as you can see, the hitbox in this move is absolutely gigantic. You could even use this in your combos. Pretty cool stuff. You could also use this to stall your recovery if you want. In my opinion, this should be Ness's regular down special, and the heal one should have been the custom move, because I think this would have seen a lot more use in tournament play. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more custom moves, be sure to check out the custom move playlist which I created the other day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, and have a great day. Bye! Trash CPU, get wrecked. We got some new channel members to announce today. Sky Raven Woods, XX Punch Willow XX. Sate Edgy Stevens and Zine are all my epic fans. For my lower tier at the basic fans, we have Bite5, Ducky Zero Leaf, Ethix, Austin Robbins, Zeph, Evan, Kalamba, Subpixel, YRF, Sharules14, Void, Lee, Hey Jacob, Jevrick, Bevrick, and The Sniper. Thanks so much to my channel members. It really means a lot when you guys support the channel. And if you would like your name announced at the end of my videos and other cool perks too, be sure to scroll down and click the join button as it really helps me out and I'll help you out as well by giving you some awesome perks. So if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share with your friends who might find this interesting. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.